Hi guys, Kodak Hans here and welcome back to tutorial 11 and I'm going to take you through how I built this automatic mixer behind me. Uh, looks fairly complicated but it's actually not too bad. So sit back and enjoy. Okay, one automatic mixer coming up. So first off, let's get ourselves some power. So I think let's just knock through this wall here. As you can see, I have power running from here all the way around. So let's just interrupt that, put in oh, gearbox. Throw a gearbox in there. So now we've got power coming out. And vertical gearbox, because we need it up. That's in the wrong place. Need it coming out the wall. Uh, da, 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 fine. But what we also want is power takeoff here. It's something that will become apparent shortly when we automatically feed the system. Now, a bit of overkill here. I'm putting a clutch. So what I want to be able to do is have a redstone receiver sitting on it with the frequency mixer basin because over there I've got a switch I can turn this on and off so let's come over here and turn let's label it as mixer turn it on on why is that not receiving that looks right it looks like that one now oh, because I don't set the frequencies for this one that's fair enough so there and there turn it off that's on Turn it that one on. Right, that's not working now. So let's get going. So what we want to do is we want to come two or three out here and place a temporary block down. Let's see if there's some dirt here somewhere. Stone, stone, gravel. Gravel will do. Let's put some gravel here. So on top of the gravel, we're going to put our friendly little blaze. And then on top of that, we're going to put our basin. Straight above the basin, we'll put our mixer. So that is basically it. We could already start to use it by manually throwing stuff in. So we can manually throw stuff in there. It'll get mixed up. Um, yeah. Jobs are good in. But we want to make this slightly more automated so we can set it going and walk away. So what you're going to need for that is some hoppers and some chests and a chute. So, first off, we need to get stuff into here, into that. So let's place a couple of hoppers. Let's place a chest on each. Oh. So this will be our input sources. So let's say for brass, we put zinc in one, copper in the other. If we want to make andesite alloy, andesite in one. So iron nuggets and the other will get mixed up and then we need somewhere for them to go so let's just get rid of this don't need that anymore hello so just in front of that we put the chest and on top of the chest we put a chute and that's a chute not a basin uh, basin, basin, basin. Ah, the question is, did I get the frequencies right then? Yes, I did, because I got it working. So now I just need to put the basin on top of said blaze burner. 
Now what you'll notice is that there's automatically base and set of stuff, so throw stuff in here, we'll turn around, dump it in here when it's finished. All well and good, but we've got to feed him. So what we're gonna to do to feed said blaze burner is come down yeah, we'll come down here and put another wrong one. Let's put a clutch there. Put uh, wrong one. Come on, down. Thank you. Down there. We'll go one of them, one of them, and just because we feel like it, we'll put a switch on this. Let's put it on the side. Switch here. So what we can do is we can turn off or on the automatic feeding of the blaze burner, because we may not necessarily want to feed it. And then to feed that. What we're going to put down is a mechanical arm, but before we put in the mechanical arm, we need to put a fuel source. So I think we'll put it, yeah, let's see, where's that one? That one there. Put the chest in there, will that work? Cool, we can still open it. That's backwards, but never mind. So that chest will put fuel in. So in this case, We'll probably put some coal in. In front of it, we're going to put a depot. Where is the depot? I did make one before. There we go. Put a depot down. And then decide, because realistically, we only need to drop one at a time. And then we come over here. And we put our mechanical arm down. And as you can see, it says it's got no targets. So what we need to say is pick it up. So with the arm in your right hand, you click on the target to so say it's going to take from the depot, place in the blaze burner. There we go. And now if we turn it off, you can see the mixer keeps going, but mechanical arm won't. So let's put some coal in here. And as you can see, Coals drop through. Let's put some copper in that one, some zinc in that one, and see nothing's happening because you have to be heated. Let's turn the heating on, and you'll see it's going to pick up that. Put in the blaze burner. There we go. Mix has started mixing, and hopefully very soon we should start seeing some brass fall out of here. And there we go. Easy as that. So that guys is a automatic automatic mixer for mixing brass and if you turn that off it's whatever else you want to be. So we can put andesite and iron nuggets will automatically make us some andesite alloy, stuff like that. And then once we finish with it we can run over here, flick the switch and as you can see turns that off, turns a whole lot off, that does nothing. And the nice thing is that means then that this isn't using any stress and the power that's coming down here, which at the moment is just a small windmill, is free to power everything else. So that is a fairly simple automatic mixer with heating. And if we actually started putting blaze cakes in here, you could make that super heated, but I don't think there are any recipes for super heating at the moment. So that's it guys, one automatic mixer which we can make brass and side alloy and all those fun and games so hope you enjoy the video like subscribe and all that stuff and i'll catch you next time bye